All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be answering Luis Fernando Key's question. He's actually a friend from Costa Rica who is starting um, in internet marketing, running Facebook advertising uh, more specifically. So he is asking me, um, he's running a leadership campaign in Costa Rica, Peru, and Colombia. But he's telling me that his targeting is, um, has, his audience is really, really small. So he's asking me if he, su if he should um, mix different interests into one ad set or if he should or or if he should just use one per ad set. So here's what I recommend, bro. So if you, if you have really targeted interests that you want to target in one specific ad set, um, then it's okay, you can mix them in the same ad set because they are really specific. But what I suggest you do is you um, separate them into categories. So for example, category number one would be websites. So you would include all the websites in this ad set. In ad set number two would include um, the magazines. In ad set number three would include the, no the, the public figures. And in ad set number four you would include, for example, the movies or books, whatever. So you are separating them by categories and not specifically by one interest. So that's my first piece of advice. The second piece of advice is to find bigger audiences because normally if you do the research and there and you do the yeah the right market research on Facebook and you dig deep, you're gonna always find new audiences that, uh, that you are gonna be able to target because sometimes for example, if you're in the personal development niche and you're targeting Tony Robbins, then maybe Tony Robbins has a huge audience in the US, he does, but maybe in Peru, he doesn't have a huge audience. So maybe instead of starting Tony Robbins, find the personal development guru in Peru or in Central or, or in um, yeah Latin America instead of targeting Tony Robbins, which is really popular like in the US, Europe, etc. So that's what I suggest you do. Either you group them into categories per one per ad set, one category per ad set, or you find bigger interests that have at least like 50,000 people and then um, use one per ad set, just one interest. So... 50,000 people is like not a rule of thumb. You might, you might, you can use something that has an audience that has 30,000 people or whatever, but like 50,000 people is a good number to have a small, a small audience. Like I suggest to our, for you to try to find those audiences that have 50,000 people or more. So he's also asking me, um, and another tip that I want to give you is like, if you're targeting three countries, use one campaign per country. So you don't want to mix up Costa Rica, Peru, and uh, what was it? You don't want to mix up Costa Rica, Peru, and Colombia, okay? You want to include one campaign for Costa Rica, one for Peru, and one for Colombia. And inside each of those campaigns, you would include four ad sets, which is what I suggest. Um, either would be like the categories or one interest per ad set. And uh, basically for the budget, um, you want to do either $5 a day or I suggest actually 10 if your budget allows you to. Why? Because webinar registration leads tend to be more expensive. Like right now, I'm re I'm, it really depends on the niche and the country you're targeting, of course. But uh, regularly, a webinar is, is um, a higher commitment than, for example, downloading a video training or an ebook because people have to actually register and then show up. Well, when they download an ebook or a video series, they just enter their name, their email, just their name, just their email, sorry, and download it. So it's no commitment. You just get it instantly. Okay. So um, that's exactly what I suggest you do, man. Um, if you're going to be generating leads for a webinar, make sure you separate the countries into campaigns, the ads into categories or into interest, and then just use the same ad so you can test out one variable at a time. Um, and let them run for until they spend 15, 20 dollars, depending on your cost per lead. The cheaper the cost per lead, the less money you're gonna have to spend because you're gonna find a trend on what's working and what's not um, without spending that much money. But if your cost per lead, let's say, is four or five dollars, then if you spend ten dollars per ad set, it's not gonna give you much information, so you're gonna have to spend more. Like, there's not a rule of thumb, but the point is, you gotta find the trend of what's working, which is regularly after you spend 15 dollars, you're gonna know. Uh, if it's heading in the right track or not. Okay, so that stands for the question um, for Facebook ads, lead generation, and uh, I will see you in the next video.